What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I got a little something special today. Um, so a couple of months ago, I was talking to my uncle uh, about my Ford Transit conversion van. If you haven't seen that, go check out that video. But we were talking about the van and he mentioned that he had this Volkswagen bus Westphalia camper van sitting in his front yard that has been in our family for probably about 50 years now, since it was brand new, 1971. Uh, my grandfather bought it brand new, right from the dealership. And it's kind of just been sitting there, rotting away. You know, it needs a lot of work. And he said, hey, if you want to come get it, you can have your way with it, fix it up, and, you know, do whatever you want. Use it this summer and uh, take it on some trips or whatever. So obviously, as any sane person would do, I went and got it right away. So this is my new, to me, 1971 Volkswagen T2 Westphalia camper van. Like I said, this has been in my family since it was brand new. My grandfather, great grandfather, picked it up from the dealership and it came in at around $1,600, which for the time was quite a bit of money. So coming over here through this sliding door, the entire inside is pretty much original. The flooring has been replaced. This comes factory with a shag carpet. So I'm not too disappointed that that's been taken out, but nonetheless, it's something to note. Up front, we got the original seats, the original door cards. Door cards are in really good shape. All the windows work. The seats you can see are kind of starting to come apart. Um, we've got an eight track player, e-brake. It is a manual, the four speed um, with the 1600 CC engine in the back, the original radio right there. We've got our AC, which if you know anything about these, you know isn't actually AC, it just opens vents in the front. We've got our heat, which in this car, because it's air cooled, is actually just run off the exhaust. Super safe, I'm sure. <laughs> as well as some probably less than ideal wiring underneath there. Digging further into the back here, we do have all the original cabinetry, the mirror, the coat rack, clothes hanger. We've got the original fridge or cooler box as they're not actually a refrigerator. Just kind of a cooler chest where you can put ice in to keep it cold. Little pantry, outdoor table, spice rack, as well as a sink with a little hand pump, extra counter space and all the other assorted bits. So in here we got the original interior, this yellow pleather material, pretty gross, but it's in pretty good shape. We got the fold up table here with the uh, leg that folds down onto the ground. We've got wall plugs. These actually aren't run off in a special electrical system. There's actually just a wall plug on the outside where you can plug in an extension cord for shore power. So. Pretty useless, but kind of cool. I believe these are the original curtains. We've got roll up windows and aftermarket speakers, a little storage shelf up here. And of course the pop-up. And this is the main feature of the Westphalia that made it so cool. We've got tent like fabric zips up. And then we've also got a small cot up here for an extra sleeping arrangement. It's held up by just these two locking struts right here. You buckle those, pull it down, and there's a couple straps to keep it in place. Coming around back, we've got our engine compartment on the bottom, and then this gives access to the bed section. We've got our spare tire here, a pillow that my great-grandmother sewed in the 70s, uh storage compartment in here with a bug net this bug net's pretty cool see it's got buttons on it and those actually snap in to the bus and create a shield so you can keep the hatch open during the summer without getting eaten by bugs this bed is also super unique these are called rock and roll beds or z beds and so the way these work you fold up the back and it pulls on the top like a futon and then you can pull it all out and then you've got probably in between a twin and a full, somewhere around there. Then to put it back up, 
you just pull up here, push down, and you're good to go. Back here, we also have the engine compartment, like I said. Push the button here. And there's the whole 1600 cc engine. You can see the original paint shop here. Little battery over there. This one does run good. It was rebuilt at some point. Not entirely sure why, because this bus only has 22,000 miles on it, um, which is super low for the year, especially for the camper van model. But it was rebuilt nonetheless, runs great, but it does need a couple of small things, alternator belt, you know, usual. But don't let all the features fool you because this bus has been neglected for quite some time now. If you look on the floor here, you can see that we do have a couple furry friends that call this place home. I mean, this place reeks of mice pee and honestly, just a couple minutes in there and I'm already feeling itchy. Um, so we definitely have to take care of that for health reasons also because it's just gross. The paintwork is also a bit shoddy. So this part up here was actually hand rolled at some point uh, or so I'm told with just white house paint. Um, so that needs to be redone. It also needs a cleaning like you wouldn't imagine. You can see all this up here is just, you know, mildew and rust up there just from sitting. This base coat down here, the brown is in pretty good shape. It was repainted at some point. As you can see in the door jams, it was red originally, but after sitting for a while, it needed some body work and some family members took it, did some body work the best they could, um, but it was repainted with some less than ideal Bondo work over here. So that is gonna need to be done eventually, but definitely need to save up before I get to that. We've got little bits of rust around the whole thing, but overall it's not in too bad a shape considering it's 50 years old, was originally bought in New England and sat for quite some time. So yeah, that's the bus. Hope you guys are as excited as I am. Um, just excited to get my hands on one of these. I love these things. Um, I know a lot of people do and it's super cool to be able to bring one back to its former glory and you know do it the right way you know i'm gonna have to repaint some of this stuff gonna have to take a lot of it apart and put it back together it's gonna be a long road but i'm excited and i hope you guys are too so if you're interested in following me along the next video is going to be cleaning this thing and just by being in it for a few minutes i know it's going to be a lot of work so subscribe below and i'll see you next time